All right, thanks, Tatum. Time now is 631, third verse, the same as the first. Get ready for some more traffic today if you plan on heading west on the 10 freeway. It is the end of the third festival weekend, and Stagecoach Festival goers are starting to head home this morning. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez joins us live in Indio with the latest. You can already see some RVs creeping up, Crystal. Yeah, Angela, I'm on Jefferson Street right now. Right down from here is that where the Empire Polo Club is, where Stagecoach Festival did take place. And it isn't too bad right now, but as you mentioned, there are several RVs that have been passing by. The It is a bit congested uh, on this street, but not too bad. Things are moving right along. Uh, majority of the people who attended the festival are finally going to be heading home today. And of course, that is where all that traffic is going to come in. We've seen the same traffic the last two Mondays because of the Coachella Festival, so it's really going to be the same deal. Jefferson will be full of cars and RVs trying to catch the freeway even more than it is right now. Nearby Main Streets will be as well. And then that 10 freeway heading west, that is going to be full of traffic. Also, Highway 111 out of Palm Springs, that tends to get backed up. Right now, things are clear on the freeway and along these streets again, although there is more traffic here than usual. And we have seen those RVs going um, going down towards the freeway already, but they have the right idea pretty much to avoid those hours long delay that is expected later today. If you are heading out west, try to get that early head start yourself. Later on, if you are on any of these streets or on the freeway heading west, it's really unavoidable. Some alternate routes, however, do include Highway 111. That would be the best option to get around the Coachella Valley. And to get to Southern Riverside County, you also have the option to use Highway 74. We're going to keep a close eye on traffic this morning. If you find yourself driving next to an RV or big rig, make sure you keep a close eye on that because it is going to get windy. It is already, if you can see on my hair, it is pretty windy. But um, yeah, if you guys are right next to an RV or any big rig, just make sure you keep your eyes on the road and be aware of that. In Indio, Crystal Jimenez, News Channel.